folks, um, Aaron here from Bean Sprout. I have an old piece of Bean Sprout history that's back in the shop. I built this banjo in 2010 for my friend Chris, and I didn't stamp it with a number. I went back through my old books, and this banjo is listed in the books, but not with a number. But it would have been around number 90, um, and it's probably one of the first three big banjos I ever made. At this time, I had a shop where I didn't have a lathe, I didn't have a table saw, so when I bought the parts for this banjo, I also got the wooden parts in their rough form from uh, Bill Rickard in Canada. So the original rim was roughly turned by them. And then I remember getting the neck. Um, it was in a rough, in the rough shape, but I had to do all the fine work. Same with the fretboard and whatever. Um, but yeah, I got it back because uh, Chris got another banjo from me. So he brought this one to be repaired. And the rim had been pulling apart. The block rim was pulling apart. And uh, at the time where I drilled the holes in the, in the block rim, I think it was um, too close to the junction of the blocks and it was pulling them apart. Also though, that just was before I knew a lot about rims. So anyway, it's back and I made a new rim for it. And uh, it was really interesting to redo my old work and visit it and make it better all around. So besides making the new rim, I had to recut how the neck fits the pot. I had to redo this tuner, this pip, the spikes. I had lots of fret work to do. I reshaped the headstock and how all this looks. And then I sanded and refinished the whole neck. Um, and I'm happy to get it going again. Oh, I made new bridges for it. Um, I cleaned up the head a little bit, but left some of the patina on there. Um, even though it needed some work, Chris had clearly played this banjo a ton. It had 100,000 miles on it. And so it was due to come back to me anyway. Um, and uh, I'm just... Happy to get it going again. So this is all walnut and ebony. Um, you guys know that nowadays I don't really use ebony, but happy to work on the old stuff. And I made a new walnut pot and I just had some ebony binding to put on here to match. Reused all the old hardware and everything. Um, yeah, and it's a good banjo. Uh, it's a 26 inch scale, a little longer than I use now. It's 11 inch rim. This is all pretty much the same. Uh, 24 hooks and nuts with these nice ball shoes from Bill Rickard. Um, it's a good banjo. It never got a number the first time around, but now it's stamped number 778, and it's got a bean sprout stamp on here finally. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cool to be in dialogue with your past self. Um, it's easy for me to be mad at my past self, but uh, it was a long time ago. I didn't know the difference, and now I do, older and wiser. So, And Chris will be here in a few minutes to, to get it back. Cheers. Mm -hmm.